absolutely another beautiful day today happy monday to you guys what's up ryan rig the host of your show ryan blogs too not the number two not like you're going to watch this vlog but t-o-o -O, like in addition like also happy monday to you back outside we're gonna run some errands today i uh, got a couple things going on got some uh, new client work too this week uh some people reach out to me on facebook that live near me um, they shoot video on their GoPro, you know, riding like dirt bikes and stuff, and they just finished up with a big meet. Um, and they wanted me to, you know, kind of produce a video for them, you know, edit it up and, you know, put some nice music into it. So I was like, yeah, I could totally do that. So I'm supposed to link up, or I'm going to need to send him a message back and link up with him, and uh, we can get working on some of his footage, get a video made. But yeah, I'm going to get on down the street, enjoy my nice day here, my nice little work day. Um, it's very nice today, not as warm as it was uh, yesterday it's only about 55 today i got a light uh, light jacket with me i got my uh t-shirt and shorts on though you know what i mean so i'm gonna run a few errands jump in the car here oh let me adjust my adjust my exposure that's why i'm loving using the uh cannon here because i can actually adjust that while i'm recording and adjust you know aperture anything that i need so just a little quick tweak there but uh in the car and uh, we're going to get headed down the road and get Monday's vlog started. You guys ready? I'm ready. Got a nice shave today. Looking good for a Monday. Let's go. See, I told you guys every day you're going to see the quick and easy because it's by my house. Um, somebody had commented on uh, yesterday's vlog. That, or I've actually seen quite a few comments. They were like, you know, hey man, have you lost some weight? Hey man, you look skinnier. What's going on? And believe it or not, like you guys know I drink the big 32 ounce fountain sodas. Um, I usually, I mean, I'm, I hate to admit this, but honestly, let me turn this around here real quick here. Turn this around, but oh, and adjustment. See, I'm digging this on the fly. I know, you have to bear with me guys until I get a more permanent uh, vlogging camera. So, but I'm, I'm enjoying manual manual control on my camera if you know how to use manual exposure then you can use it you know what i mean and uh, i do i've taken a lot of time with the canon so but anyway i drank probably two or three of those sodas a day you know two or three maybe four i know it's horrible it's completely horrible don't judge me um and then you know also throughout the day i'd always keep like mountain dew like cans you know in the refrigerator and you know i drink you know a few of those throughout the day you know and so I think it was about, uh, I don't know, maybe a week ago, I just told myself, if I still want a Mountain Dew, I'll buy a fountain soda, or if I eat somewhere, I might get a soda, you know, like out to dinner or lunch or something. But if if I'm just chilling at home, I'm just going to drink more water, you know? Um, and I stopped buying cans of Mountain Dew. So the only thing I'm drinking now is just fountain soda. I mean, you guys know, soda is primarily comprised of water and sugar, and that's about it, you know? And... So I'm thinking, okay, well, the fountain soda is going to have a little bit more water because it's, you know, water, carbonated water mixed with syrup. It doesn't change the fact that it's still soda. But to be honest with you, I think not buying cans of soda is actually where the weights come off. You know what I mean? Um, I can see it in my face. I can see it in my shirts. I can see it in my clothes. Um, pretty much everything that I own does not fit anymore like my shirts don't fit they're you know bigger my pants are bigger my belts are bigger so about the only thing that fits is my shoes you know what i mean so it's kind of interesting so i'm going to kind of just keep on this path you know for a little bit uh of less soda intake and more water intake and we'll see how it goes you know what i mean always get the most craziest looks like this guy just drove by right there always get the craziest looks when you're talking into a camera i get it you know but some people some people vlog, you know, this is my life. So I'm going to go in here and get my soda. I know I shouldn't get it, but I'm, I'm feeling good, you know. I can, like I said, I can see it. I need a scale. I haven't weighed myself in about a month. And when I did, I was like, I think 175 maybe. I mean, this, for me, guys, I'll have to admit to you. All my life growing up, I've always had a big round head. I've always been chubby, always been fatter. You know, when I was younger, I mean... Constantly, people always made fun of me. You know, I was a short, fat guy. It was just horrible. You know what I mean? Um, it does something to you, you know. Um, but then after a while, you know, I got a little bit taller, you know. And then I realized, well, wait a minute, I'm bigger than half the people that are talking smack to me. So unfortunately, you know, I started using my fists a lot. Um, I wouldn't say I learned how to fight, but I definitely, uh, I definitely got in a few. We'll keep it at that. And uh, 
definitely, definitely know how to uh, protect myself if I, if need be, you know what I mean? So, you know, I just started, you know, a, a change in the attitude. I'm like, hey, you know, you make fun of me all you want, but I'm a little bit bigger person. You know, my tackle can take you down, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I don't do any fighting anymore. I'm in my 30s, you know what I mean? I mean, if someone physically came up, put their hands on me, I'm, I'm more or less going to go into a defensive, you know, and, you know, some type of grapples, some other form of jiu-jitsu and more or less subdue them. But if somebody really wants to go toe to toe and throw some fists, I mean, I'll do it, you know? <laughs> I'm not scared at all. I'm not scared at all. I've never been scared of a fist fight. So uh, it just, like I said, it's stuff's kind of like immature, you know, it's stuff you do when you're a kid. <laughs> but we've ragged on enough about that. But yeah, so what I'm gonna say is, you know, being an adult, you know, you, obviously people don't make fun of you. So you guys, your younger crowd, if people are giving you a hard time in like school and stuff, believe me, in a few years when you're out of school, it won't even matter. You won't see those people anymore and they won't be bullying you. Um, and it won't really matter. You'll have grown up and matured and so will they, you know. But, you know, I've always been very self-conscious about my weight and the way I look. You know, it's probably because of all the stuff I got as a kid. But, you know, when you feel good, you feel good regardless of how you look. So, a little message in today's vlog. Sure, you can, you know, go get a haircut and buy the best clothes and, you know, go tanning and go to the gym and, you know, go, you know, get waxes and, you know, wax your body and you can do everything known to man now to your body. But at the end of the day, if you don't love yourself on the inside, you're always going to be ugly. You know what I mean? You have to love yourself on the inside. You have to be true to yourself and you have to be happy with yourself. If you're happy with yourself on the inside, it won't matter what anybody else says um, about you or tells you because you'll be fine without them. You know what I mean? So a little lesson today, a little sidetrack in the vlog, but that's the nature of a vlog. You just never know what's going to happen. So I'm going to go in and grab my drink. In there like swimwear, boys and girls. Okay, so I was, I forgot my list. Well, I had a list um, at my house, and then I'm like, well, wait a minute. It was only three things, so no need to forget it. But I needed to pick up um, body wash and paper towel and uh, some toilet paper. So I'm going to run over here. Uh, it's like Dollar General. It's like a cheap store, but whatever. They got all the stuff I need, and it's close to home. And then we got to run over uh, to my post office box. When you guys, like, send things out in the mail... Um, they go to my post office box, and I got a confirmation that something's over there. So I'm pretty sure one of you guys have sent something. Well, I know somebody has sent some because they sent me a message. So I'm going to head over here to this little store real quick down the street. And, uh, yeah. The place probably doesn't look the most inviting, um, but it's in a good neighborhood. And that's the name over there, Dollar General. But, like I said, it's close. They got what I need, and no point driving around. A bunch or going to I was thinking I was gonna go to just Walmart but it's like always chaotic in there here I can go in get in and get out real quick and I don't want to be recording in there recording out here too much because all of this is like a chain store in uh, Springfield and like I think three or four of the dollar generals and two of the family dollars which are very similar type of store they've all been like robbed at gunpoint within the last like four or five weeks it's apps it's not anything to be joke it's not funny Nobody was hurt. It's just horrible. You know what I mean? So I'm going to run here and grab my paper towel, toilet paper, and oh my gosh, what was the third thing? Oh yeah, body wash. You guys got to help me remember these things. So I got everything I needed and then some. Got the paper towel, got the toilet paper, got some body wash, um, but then I picked up another can of Axe. I'm sure a lot of you people use this Axe. I'm a big fan of it. I'm not sure if you use this particular fragrance. Essence, one of my favorites. So picked it up. And then I use these in my car. These are uh, little trees, they're called. They're actually a little tree brand. But I've always used the vanilla. Sometimes I use strawberry. But if anybody that knows me well knows my cars always smell like vanilla. And that's why. You know what I mean? It's those happy little trees, man. A good little run there at the Dallas store today. See, I told you I love them. They're, I think they smell the best. You know what I mean? One of my favorites. Vanilla Roma. Yeah, I just kind of hang them off there off the little turn signal lever there on the car vanilla roma you guys should check them out i know there's quite a few of them there already story of my life america it's one of the biggest flags ever this is over by the shopping complex uh where we're gonna pull into uh to check the uh, post office box but 
Always awesome seeing the American flag just kind of blowing there. And it is a very large flag. It's bigger than the sign that it's uh, above, you know what I mean? Very patriotic. I've always been a fan of the American flag. I have that family that was in the military. My grandfather was a United States Air Force veteran, was in the Korean War. So definitely always take a moment for the American flag. So if you guys ever look in the video description on my videos, you see a uh, my address, a post office box listed there. It actually goes right here to this place called Box and Go. They got a wall of uh, post office boxes in there. So I'm about to go in there and see what's going on and check my little post office box, see if you guys have sent anything. I know there's one thing in there, but there could be a lot more. I always get stuff from companies and things like that. Pretty epic day here at the post office box. We got, it looks like uh, a letter here from somebody. So we're gonna open that up when we get home. I got their address covered up there. And then a package here. I didn't order anything. It's from uh, Amazon Prime. So two things today, two things today for uh, fan mail. So like I said, it's uh, listed in the video description. But uh, when I get home, we'll open these up on camera, both of these, and we'll see what's inside. You guys are so awesome. The fact that I, that you guys even watch my videos is one thing, but the fact that you guys send things in the mail to me is just awesome. But I can't wait to open this box, and I can't wait to read this. So let's uh, head home here in a few. Spotted this bad boy while I was driving here. Uh, 2015 Dodge Charger, or Dodge Challenger Hellcat. The guy that owns this uh, family practice clinic, that's his. I love it. Nice red shiny Hellcat. Just look at that. Oh, it's incredible. It makes me miss my Challenger. I've got, I had a, a 2010 Dodge Challenger SRT8 Plum Crazy Purple. You guys should check it out. But that thing is just brand new. He used to have a different Challenger. So he recently, uh, he recently traded this in. The, the uh, Family Practice Clinic must be doing really well. It's epic. Man, that Hellcat was sick. I'm not a big fan of red cars or red trucks or, well, red anything, really, but uh, I'd drive it, you know what I mean? If somebody gave it to me, I would probably I would go have it wrapped. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was an epic car. It makes me, I, man, I can't believe it's been almost a year. Well, it'll be a year at the end of May that I traded in uh, my Dodge Challenger SRT8, and I traded in a 2004 Toyota RAV4, and ended up getting a 2015 Toyota Camry XSE, which I've had for about a year, but now I'm just like, oh, I wanna get rid of this car, I wanna get something else. I wanna go back to Mopar, I wanna go back to big motors, wasting gas and lots of horsepower. I mean, I, I didn't settle for my Toyota, it was actually a really good deal. They gave me almost barely above invoice price on the Toyota, they gave me really good value, really good amount on my trade-ins, um, both of them, so, and I owned one of my cars, so it was a really good position that I was in, you know, to get a brand new car with no mileage, brand new warranty, you know, and it is a fully loaded Toyota Camry XSC. It's got every option on it. Uh, V6, paddle shifted. Uh, it's got almost 300 horsepower. So I, you know, I thought about, you know, back a few months ago, I was like, well, maybe I'll, uh, maybe we could put a turbo on here, you know, and uh, put some airbags on it, you know, bag it, drop it down to the ground. I don't know. I'd rather spend all that money on you know, maybe a Dodge Charger, another Charger RT, and then modify it with like a turbo. Because I had a 2007 Dodge Charger RT, and go back and look on my channel. I love that car, it was white, 20 inch wheels, tinted windows, epic system, custom interior, custom dash, I mean, it was sick. So, but uh, you know, people, things change. So I was like, well, I'm, I still love my Toyota. It's a very sweet looking car. It just doesn't have that big power, that big motor, you know, that I had before. So I'm on the highway now, I'm heading back home, uh, running the, finish the rest of my errands, and then I wanna go home and open the fan mail. So let's go home and check that out, guys. I can't sit, wait to see what you guys sent me. If only we were headed to St. Louis. Nope, just the exit to go to my house, off the interstate. Speaking of St. Louis, I don't know if you guys are baseball fans, it's opening day for Major League Baseball today. My team's the St. Louis Cardinals, they are not playing today. Um, however, it's still opening day. It's exciting. Uh, last year or the year before, uh, my best friend and I we were down in St. Louis for the big party uh, for opening day. No, I think it was actually three years ago. So we need to plan something like that again. I need to holler at my best friend and see if he wants to catch another game down there or what we're going to do. It looks like uh, also we started with a nice sunny sky. 
But those uh, those clouds are starting to roll in a little bit. Hey, at least it's not windy today. That's the main thing. That is the main thing. Probably should unlock the door and get it opened up before I start uh, bringing all this stuff in from today. Make life a little bit easier there. Oh, I didn't even arm my alarm when I left. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, I locked the doors. <laughs> oh my goodness. I went out there and locked the door. Are you kidding? Ah, oh. <laughs> where's my keys? Oh, here we go. I thought I unlocked it, but I guess I, I locked it. Okay, it's unlocked, right? You don't have to hit it a hundred more times. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'll grab this stuff here. Yes, fan mail, epic. Letter and a package, and then the stuff from today earlier. Oh, so much. Oh, it's two trips. Okay, two trips it is. Yes, toilet paper. They didn't have my actual brand that I want, so I had to settle, which took me about 10 minutes to make a decision, which is very awkward. So, settle for the Cottonelle Ultra Comfort Care. Clean Ripple technology. Now grab the fan mail and my jacket. God, it's 55 and sunny, but it's a little brisk. Feels just a little crisp. Oh, my phone. Mountain Dew. Lens cover. Nope, we're coming back for the soda, I guess. Too much stuff, man. Too much stuff. Okay, put that there. And one last trip for the soda. Oh, can't forget about you, Mr. Mountain Dew. My favorite. Oh. Look at the shadow. Hello, shadow. Shadow man. Now we work. And we read some fan mail. Let's go. Turn on some lights here so we can get ready to open up some fan mail. I know you guys are like, what? There's a light switch? Yes, a hidden light switch. Uh, turn those on, and we'll turn the kitchen light on, yes, and I think I'll grab the uh, tripod real quick, which is in the living room, over here, and then we can set it up real quick, and then uh, open up the fan mail, let's do this. Yeah, I'm really starting to dig using the DSLR for vlogs because of all the manual exposure control, aperture control, ISO, it makes life a lot easier. And more fun you know what i mean so if you've been on the fence about vlogging i highly recommend doing it and do it daily it's like a new challenge for you but then i think you'll start to develop more as a vlogger so i'm, I'm really excited about the daily vlogs and you guys are too and your support's awesome let me grab the tripod here okay let's check it out here let's open up this first it's a letter and i got the address there covered up um but the letter is from uh, let's see here antonio antonio brown so Let's check this out. Antonio Brown from Illinois. How about that? So, let's check this out here. This is this is like the best part of making YouTube videos is the interaction with you guys, like the community, you know what I mean? So, let's see what we got here. I, make, I always check the letters first just to make sure there's like, not anything graphic, but like personal information or phone numbers or anything, so I don't want to show that on camera, you know what I mean? Oh, it's just a nice simple letter here. It says, uh, to Ryan, hello, my name is Antonio Brown. I live in Flossmore, Illinois. I saw your, uh, let's see, I saw your show looking for an iPhone unboxing when I saw your channel. So he must have been looking for, you know, looking up information about an iPhone and said he saw my channel. That was the uh, extent of the letter. So uh, I'm going to have to send something back to him just saying I got his letter. So pretty simple I would assume from someone younger so thank you Antonio uh, I hope the video or I hope the show helped you I hope the uh, video helped you you know if you're making a decision there but thank you very much for these letters I actually save all of them um, in my desk which is actually off camera right over here to the left I saved them all together in one spot so I hope one day to just fill an entire room with them framed so thank you very much uh, for that letter I really do appreciate that Antonio and now we're gonna grab this little knife here 
and we are going to cut into this box, which is epic. I, if I know what I, I was talking to a subscriber a couple weeks ago, he had sent something out. He said it was a surprise. He didn't want to tell me, um, but I think that's from him. So I think this is uh, from you, Adam McGinnis. So shout out to the subscriber, uh, Adam McGinnis, for sending this out because, like I said, I didn't order anything from Amazon Prime. So I'm pretty certain that it's from him. So we're going to open this up. Inside, see what we got packaging here. Oh, it uh, looks like a little gift package too here. It says, uh, keep your gift a surprise. Unwrap your present before uh, opening this envelope. Okay. So unwrap your present before opening the envelope. All right, so let's do that. Make sure you pay attention. So this is gift wrap. Uh, it's from Amazon. Pretty sweet, right? Let me check to make sure there's no personal information. Okay, so here we go. Uh, hi, Ryan. Enjoy your gift from Adam McGinnis. Man, Adam McGinnis, you're epic. It's a uh, package from Amazon and it's gift wrap. So I don't even want to like open it because uh, it's so nice. You know what I mean? It's so nice and pretty here. Let's see if we can't open it without ripping it. You know what I mean? I'm excited to see what's inside here. See if I can open this without ripping it. Hey, that worked out. It's just a little sticky there. Let's see here. Is it a game? Oh, it's a movie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's the steelbook version of my favorite movie. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Fast and Furious. I love all of them. Uh, rest in peace to my man, Paul Walker. My brother, Zach, and I, this is some of our closest bond is with this movie, Fast and the Furious, the whole franchise. You know, the reason I'm into cars, the reason my brother's into cars, a lot of it is because of the Fast and Furious. And, you know, Paul Walker is just an amazing person. And the whole series, the whole movies have just been epic. You know what I mean? With Fast 7 out, last year I saw it in theaters. But Fast 6, you know, is kind of the last one, you know, with Paul Walker in it all the time, you know? And this is the Blu-ray DVD plus digital HD copy in the collector's steelbook. Extended edition Fast and Furious 6. Adam McGinnis, oh my gosh, you are absolutely amazing. I have the best friends on YouTube. You guys are the best people on YouTube ever. You send movies, you send games, you send letters. Man, big shout out to Antonio for the letter today. Big shout out to Adam McGinnis, man, on the Blu-ray. Are you kidding? You spent money on this. I really appreciate that because this isn't cheap. A Blu-ray, you know, Steelbook limited edition. You are awesome for that, Adam. I don't even know what to say. I'm so humble, you know, blown away. So shocked. Let's see here. Keep your gift surprise. Unwrap your present for opening this envelope. Let's... So I guess we can open this here. Maybe it's just some like order information or something. Let me check this here. Let's see here. It's uh, yeah, it was a gift, a uh, gift for you. Hi Ryan, enjoy your gift from Adam McGinnis. It's just an Amazon gift receipt. Fast and Furious Steelbook, a Blu-ray. So it was ordered on March 23rd. Sorry for the delay in getting over there, but man, what an incredible day! You guys are awesome. Oh, I just, I just, I'm still just so tickled to death. Uh, you guys are the best, you know what I mean? I am definitely going to watch this tonight, uh, probably twice in a row, you know what I mean? I'm going to put it on Blu-ray later and download the digital HD version probably to my iPhone. Man, I, to be, just have this in my hand is so epic. The fact that it came from you, Adam, super awesome, super awesome. I'll tell you what, you guys are incredible, absolutely incredible to get that stuff. I'm um, in the mail. That's stuff you guys spent your money on, spent time on. Um, that's money that, you know, spent on postage. That's money you guys could have spent on other things and you chose to, you know, get a letter, write a letter, you know, get an envelope, get a stamp, you know. The fact you guys even watch my videos, like I said, is just awesome. But to receive that kind of stuff, doesn't matter what it is. Just the fact of receiving something from somebody you've never physically, like, met, you know, or you've never shook their hand. It, it's truly incredible. I'm truly blessed to have all of you in my life. Um, I love what I do. You guys know YouTube's my passion. Um, I started a Patreon campaign a few months ago. It's probably been three or four, actually. So I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. It'll be linked down below. Could you guys check it out for me? Just read over it, check it out, and uh, that's all I ask. Just click the link for my Patreon. If you choose to support me, that would be great. Um, but you can read more about it and see what I'm talking about. But Man, I cannot wait 
even though I've seen this about a hundred times, I'll act like I've never even seen it because I love Fast and Furious. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. Thank you so much for that. That is so awesome. What a great Monday. What a great Monday. In the midst of <laughs> opening all the fan mail, I was like, oh, well, we got to put all the stuff away that we got earlier. Take a couple rolls of toilet paper upstairs, take the body wash upstairs, and finally put a roll of paper towel on the empty toilet or paper towel dispenser. Back to where you belong on the roll. Aha. Life complete. It's like the toilet or the toilet paper, paper towel, toaster, can opener, everything you need in one kitchen. Paper towel, can opener, toaster, and then all your charging stuff. You know, like a charge iPhone. Charge my wireless magic mouse, charge my wireless keyboard, charge GoPro batteries, uh, a big battery that's 18,000 million battery company sent this out to me, the Jackery Titan. But yeah, I charge everything over here and use like a four port USB charger with high voltage. So everything gets the amount of power you need. Every kitchen should look like this. No, it shouldn't. <laughs> Man, I was just reading the comments uh, from yesterday's vlog that I love playing Call of Duty. And just, I mean, looking at the, just the last uh, three or four days of daily vlogs here, just the amount of likes and comments and views has just been incredible. I'm, I, I, the views never don't really concern me. It's the amount of thumbs up, you know, the feedback, you know, and it's all been really amazing. And I was reading uh, your comments it's just absolutely amazing, you know. I try to reply to everybody that I can, uh, but I really love all your feedback, guys. But you know, watch one of his vlogs. He says one trick to 2.5 million subscribers, and all he basically said was daily uploads. Now I don't ever expect to get 2.5 million or a million subscribers, but hey, 50 plus thousand already sounds to me like we're doing pretty good. But just want to say thank you for everything, guys. Thank you so much. We got water that plant. Little drink. Need some plant food and neutralize or uh man, got some disease on there. I really, really, really do appreciate all your support today on the vlog. Um if you did enjoy it, please click that thumbs up button. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this one just a little short today because I've got um, an event going on tonight. Um, I won't be able to vlog from it, just got a couple things going on. But my concern was that I was going to get home kind of late from that. Um, and wasn't sure how much time I would have, so I want to make sure that I allow myself the time to get this edited and uploaded so it's ready for you guys at 12 p.m. tomorrow or 12 p.m. Tuesday as you're seeing it because it's very important to me. It's a personal goal, but it's very important to you guys and to me that you guys have this video and that I hold true on my promise. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one edited. I'm actually gonna edit it on my big screen here. I've got my Mac here connected. Basically, Mac right here, and then connected through Apple TV. I then use AirPlay and push the image to the television. So I'm gonna edit that, and then later on, I am going to enjoy watching Fast and Furious 6. Big shout out to Adam McGinnis, friend, fan, subscriber. Thank you very much for all the fan mail today. Really do appreciate it, but guys, I am Ryan Rigg, the hostiest show. Ryan Vlogs 2, not the number two. Not like you're going to maybe check out Fast and Furious 6 on Blu-ray, or Fast 7, whichever one, or any of them, but T, but T-O-O, -O, like in addition, like also. If you enjoyed today's vlog, please, like I said, click thumbs up button, subscribe to my vlog channel if you're not. Really do appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you very much, and uh, I guess you're seeing this on... Tuesday, so happy Tuesday to you, but it's the end of Monday. So like I said, everything you see on a vlog is from the day before, which is how everyone pretty much does it. So really do appreciate it, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We get to play. Yes. Yes. Get to make gaming videos. Yay. Finally. It seemed like it only took forever. It only took forever. Can we do this? Can we actually make some uh, videos here while while we actually vlog also and game. Bam, let's do this.